Hey there, my name is Marquez and in this video I'm going to share with you step by step how you can use Ultra AI. I hope after finishing this video you will know how to use it and I will try to explain you to the best of my ability what you can do with Ultra AI. So first I'm going to show you around what you can find and then I'm going to slowly dive deeper into how you can use it all right so first thing first when you're going to be in home you are going to find here all your recordings from zoom google or directly the recordings that you would do with the author ai you're going to find here the author ai chat on the left side where you can ask questions uh, this is like the ai chat bot from the recordings also regard the software my conversations are going to be conversations that you had in zoom just your conversations or you can have all conversations where you can find the conversations also well, let's say you have teammates right that you would find right here then you're going to find the apps and in the apps tab you are going to find their option to connect it to zoom google and things like that and then you're going to find channels so channels are Kind of like imagine right there uh, uh, having a group of people that you can have in a channel that you can discuss things you can record things directly in that channel that i can like i will show you right here i can add start recording here i can import so i can import zoom call and it's going to do the transcript for for you i will show you soon how it works and then you can paste meeting url now uh, what has been my experience is that you can just like let's say you're going to have here channel about i'll call talking about the department of hr and interviewing people so here you could have a channel and you could upload there the zoom recordings to this channel where you can then discuss them so this is this is the how you can use the channel and we were going to dive deeper into the recordings then you're going to have the direct messages where you're going to click plus here and you can directly message with someone about um not message but you can have like call with them and that's how at least i understood it i don't really use it but here you can see that this is a direct message with only one person here i can add members here too but i can just like start recording here so that's how the direct message is where you can type the email right here and then you're going to have folders folders are for when you want to insert into the folder the recordings that you are going to find let's say in all conversations or my conversation for example i have this conversation conversation from zoom i click more options move 11 right now it's gone and I have it in a folder so imagine right now in your folder this is how where you're going to find all the recordings that you want to have let's say I have HR interviewing with people so I can have this these recordings here and then I can just like when there is going to be a new person in HR that is going to interview and he would like to learn how to interview better they can watch all the recordings or let's say you're going to have a closer or someone who's replying into dms and you can let them just like in this folder you can give them access and to this folder then they would like watch or like they would uh, just look on the transcript and what was actually happening so does it make sense for what is like the folder for and now let me talk to you about the deeper side on how you can connect it with let's say zoom and things like that so the process works really simple how it works is that let's say that you want to record a live recording that you are going to have so you don't want to work it like that that you're gonna record a zoom meeting and then you would upload the zoom meeting through let's say a channel like here that you would import but what you want to do is that even right like here that you would like to upload it like here import that is not going to have any channel but you just want to live record it how the process works is that you have to go to zoom i'm going to click new meeting here then i'm going to have uh, participants copy invite link okay and i'm going to paste the meeting url and then i'm going to click this button automatically what will happen is that you see right here what happened 
I have today, right now, it's a recording meeting. So when it's live, you're going to always see it on the bottom right. And when you are going to see it on the bottom right, then in a Zoom call, you will see the author AI note taker is going to be here in, in Zoom. Right now, I need to join my computer audio, so it's going to start taking notes. But this is pretty much how it works. So this is how it works when it's live. So you can just paste the meeting URL. And when you're going to paste the meeting URL to record, then it's going to start recording and you're going to see it always here on the, on the bottom right side. And I'm just going to talk for a while so we can actually see how it's going to look like. But I'm recording going to show in you, progress. I'm going to show it here on the example that when I'm going to have the audio. And this is how pretty much it works. So this is better, better example. So first you're going to have the transcript of what is actually happening. And what you can do is that you can fast forward or rewind, or you can just like start playing. Hey, Lisa, I got your email. Somewhere. I was... Works. Have you been using it a lot for your meetings? And that's something that you can do. And you can actually hear, hear about it. You can increase the speed. You can highlight. You can even add a comment. That means is that you're going to write something here like one, two, three, one, two, three. And then you are going to find the comment right here on the top right. Or you're going to have the outline of the whole discussion. And then you're going to have the AI chat if you have any question about this thing here. So the summary is the action items that is going to be also created by the AI. And then the outline of the whole talk. So that's it. And now let's end the conversation here. I'm going to end it and meeting for all. I'm going to go to home. And right now I see that the Talman meeting notes is one minute live. I can look into it if. Look at that, we have it. So we have the transcript. And now then I can see the outline of it. I can read the transcript. So first, you're going to have the transcript of what is actually happening and what you can do. So then you can have the summary where you would have the, the action, uh, action items. And you see right here, export the meeting transcript to do further, provide feedback on how often the tool has been used for meetings. You see that, right? I'm just going to click next here, next here. Yes, 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 yes. So then you're going to find the comments that you can add right here because I can take here and add reactions. I can add a comment, I can copy it, I can share it. So I hope it makes sense. And now even the next thing when I'm going to go further in home, when you're going to have the, the transcript, what I can do, look at that. So right now it's recording, but it should stop in a second because I closed the meeting. I can take the meeting, I can click here and I can move it on the top right. Do you see that? I can move it. And let's say I'm going to move it to folder 11. And now when I'm going to be in the folder 11, then here I can see the, the Talman meeting notes. So let's say this would be a talk where I would be selling something. And for the next seller in my company that is going to do the same work that I was doing, I'm going to just like let him just watch and, and learn all the, the recordings or like what kind of thing to do and things like that. And then they can just write here and they can ask AI the questions, right? Right now the, the transcript was really short. So I don't think that I have even outlined for it, but here you can see, for example, the action items. Now that's pretty much it for the whole author AI, I think. Like, I don't know what else to share with you. So. For me, you can use the channels, of course, that where you're going to like write with people, discuss things, upload recordings. Or this is just for if you want to discuss it, if you want to discuss things with people, OK, the channel is really good for it. Then you have the option to add comments directly to recordings, but then you're going to have the folders where you're going to find all the recordings that you that you want, that you need. All right. So I hope this video makes sense, how to use it, what you can do with it. So that's pretty much it. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you are going to have a great day. 
And if you can have any questions, let me down below in the comments. And I hope, hope, hope it makes sense. And I explain it well to you. Have a great day and goodbye.